Black opals are among the most captivating, gorgeous and rare gemstones in the world. Known for their mesmerising play of colour against a deep dark background, unlike common opals, black opals possess a striking contrast between vibrant hues of blue, green, red and orange that shimmer against their dark body tone, making each one truly unique. These opals form under specific geological conditions, primarily in the Lightning Ridge region of Australia in New South Wales, where ancient volcanic ash and silica-rich groundwater interacted over millions of years. What makes black opals so rare is their complex formation process and a limited number of deposits that produce gem-quality stones. Their rarity and beauty have made them some of the most sought-after gems, prized by collectors and jewellers around the world. Lightning Ridge is the only place in Australia and the world that consistently produces world-class black opals. While opals are mined in other parts of Australia, like Coober Pedy and Andamooka, these regions primarily yield white and crystal opals. The unique geological conditions at Lightning Ridge, including its silica-rich groundwater and specific Cretaceous sedimentary layers, create the perfect environment for forming high-quality black opals. This makes Lightning Ridge the unrivaled source of the most valuable and brilliant black opals, a rarity found nowhere else on Earth. Opals, including the famed black opals from Lightning Ridge, form through a delicate and unique geological process. The formation of opals requires specific environmental conditions, primarily involving the movement of silica-rich water through porous sedimentary rocks. Opal is composed of tiny silica spheres arranged in a grid-like structure which scatter light and create the famous play of colour that makes precious opals so valuable. This optical phenomenon occurs when white light is diffracted by the arrangement of the silica spheres. The formation of black opals, such as those found in Lightning Ridge, is particularly rare. These opals are formed in sedimentary environments, often at the base of ancient freshwater channels. The critical aspect of black opal formation is the presence of iron-rich sediment, which gives the opal its dark background colour. This dark backdrop enhances the contrast of the play of colour, making black opal one of the most sought after gems in the world. Opals can form from the skeletons of ancient dinosaurs through a unique process known as opalization. When a dinosaur skeleton is buried in sediment, groundwater rich in silica can seep into the bones over time. As the organic material of the bones decays, it leaves behind cavities and voids. The silica-rich water gradually fills these spaces, and under the right conditions, it solidifies into opal. This process can preserve the intricate structure of the original bone, replacing it with opal and creating what is known as an opalized fossil. In rare cases, the entire skeleton or fragments of a dinosaur can be opalized, leading to spectacular fossils that are not only scientifically valuable, but also beautiful and highly prized for their unique gemstone qualities. Lightning Ridge in Australia is famous for such discoveries, where opalized fossils of marine reptiles, early dinosaurs and other prehistoric creatures have been unearthed. But not all gemstones found in Lightning Ridge are associated with animal remains. The majority of opals are not directly linked to fossils. The opals at Lightning Ridge formed primarily through the movement of silica-rich groundwater through sedimentary rocks, which led to the deposition of opals in voids, cracks and porous rock layers. Most of the opals found are formed as nodules, known as nobbies, or in seams within the claystone or sandstone layers without any direct connection to organic material. Although fossilised remains opalised with the silica-rich water are fascinating and a rare occurrence, most of the opals mined at Lightning Ridge are purely geological in origin, not tied to ancient animal remains. The geology of Lightning Ridge is characterised by sedimentary layers from the Great Artesian Basin, which formed during the Cretaceous period. The Grimmon Creek Formation, which lies beneath Lightning Ridge, is where most of the opal deposits are found. This formation consists of claystone, sandstone and mudstone, which are deposited in ancient rivers and lakes. Over time, silica-rich water percolated through these sediments, leading to the formation of opal within the pores of the rock. The volcanic ash is believed to have played a significant role in the opalization process, providing the necessary silica for opal formation. As groundwater moved through the ash layers, it dissolved the silica and carried it into the surrounding sediments, where it eventually precipitated to form opal. The volcanic materials that contributed to opal formation at Lightning Ridge were intermediate to felsic in composition, characterised by higher silica content. These volcanic deposits, such as ash and tuff, 
would have originated from distant explosive volcanic events, producing large quantities of fine volcanic ash that settled over vast areas, including the sedimentary basins of Lightning Ridge. Falsic and intermediate volcanic rocks such as rhyolite, dacite and andesite are rich in silica, which is essential for opal formation. The silica from these volcanic materials was later dissolved by groundwater and transported into the surrounding sedimentary environment, where it precipitated and eventually formed opals. The presence of these volcanic materials in the Cretaceous sediments of the Great Artesian Basin supports the idea that the volcanism responsible for the silica was explosive, possibly from caldera forming eruptions or large stratovolcanoes. At the time, Australia was located on the eastern margin of the supercontinent Gondwana, and volcanic arcs were present further east, along the edge of where Australia meets the Pacific Ocean. This was before the formation of the Tasman Sea, and these volcanic arcs were part of a long-lived subduction zone, where the Pacific Oceanic Plate was being subducted beneath the eastern margin of Gondwana. The volcanic arcs associated with this subduction zone are located along what is now the eastern highlands of Australia. Another crucial factor in the formation of opals at Lightning Ridge is the region's unique hydrological conditions. The Great Artesian Basin, one of the largest aquifers in the world, provided a steady flow of groundwater, which was essential for opal formation. The groundwater, enriched with dissolved silica, moved through the porous sediments of the Grimmon Creek Formation, depositing silica in the form of opal. Over millions of years, this process created the opal deposits that are mined today. At various times during the Cretaceous, parts of the Great Artesian Basin were submerged by shallow, brackish or freshwater bodies, resembling an inland sea or shallow estuarine environment. This shallow sea was the result of high sea levels during the Cretaceous, which allowed marine transgressions to flood large areas of what is now central and eastern Australia. These marine incursions led to the deposition of fine-grained sediments like claystones and siltstones, which are now part of the Grimmon Creek Formation a key opal-bearing unit. The depth of these waters would have been relatively shallow, likely on the order of tens of metres at most, with varying depths depending on local conditions. The water would have fluctuated between shallow marine, estuarine and freshwater environments, depending on sea level changes, tectonic activity and climatic factors. The mix of environments allowed for the deposition of sediments that would later be transformed into opal-rich layers. Opals were first discovered in Lightning Ridge in the late 19th century, but it wasn't until the early 20th century that opal mining began in earnest. In 1903, the town of Lightning Ridge was surveyed, and hundreds of hand-dug shafts were sunk by miners in search of precious opals. Initially, the mining process was labour-intensive, with miners using pickaxes, shovels and wheelbarrows to extract opal-bearing dirt from the ground. The opals were often found in small nodules or seams within the sedimentary rock. Over time, the reputation of Lightning Ridge as a source of high-quality black opals grew, and miners from all over the world flocked to the area. By 1910, the town was a thriving opal mining community, with production reaching its peak in the early 20th century. Today, Lightning Ridge remains one of the most important opal mining regions in the world, producing a wide variety of opals, including black, crystal and white opals. Opal mining at Lightning Ridge has evolved significantly since the early days of hand-dug shafts and rudimentary tools. Today, most opal mining is done using mechanised equipment, although many small-scale miners still work the fields using traditional methods. The typical mining process involves sinking a vertical shaft through the sandstone and clay layers to reach the opal-bearing strata below. Once the opal dirt is reached, horizontal tunnels known as drives are dug to extract the precious opals. One of the challenges of opal mining is the irregular distribution of opal within the host rock. Miners often rely on drilling rigs to locate opal deposits before excavating the surrounding rock. Once the opal bearing layer is removed, it is processed using machines to break it down and reveal any opals hidden within. Despite the introduction of mechanised equipment, opal mining remains a labour-intensive and often unpredictable venture. Miners can spend years searching for opals without finding any significant deposits. However, the high value of black opals makes the potential rewards worth the effort for many miners. Opal mining is significantly more challenging than gold mining due to the unpredictable and scattered nature of the opal deposits. Unlike gold, which tends to settle in specific locations, such as in veins, reefs or placid deposits formed by water flow, opals can be found almost anywhere within the soil. Gold miners have the advantage of targeting known geological features, like quartz veins or riverbeds 
where gold tends to concentrate due to its density. In contrast, opal miners must dig through layers of sediment with little certainty, as opals can form in small random pockets or seams, often requiring extensive trial and error to locate even small amounts. The nature of opal distribution, which can occur in any part of the sandstone or claystone, makes it a far more labour intensive and less predictable venture. This randomness adds to the difficulty and risk, as miners may spend years searching without striking a valuable opal deposit. Lightning Ridge stands as a beacon in the world of opal mining, not only for its unique black opals, but also for its fascinating geological history. The interplay of sedimentary environments, volcanic activity, and groundwater flow has created the perfect conditions for the formation of opals over millions of years. From its early days as a small mining settlement to its current status as the world's premier source of black opals, Lightning Ridge is truly a remarkable area that is filled with some of the most fascinating and beautiful gemstones on our planet. I hope you enjoyed this topic as much as I did, and as always, thanks for watching. Are you interested in animals? I've just started a second channel called Paleozoology that discusses extinct and extant animals with a current focus on the megafauna that once dominated and roamed Australia. I'd love to have you along for the journey as more videos are released. You can find a link to this channel in the description and in the pinned comment in the comment section. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.